Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Aunt Vicky, Aunt Vicky's Craft Corner. Let's make some spring decor today. Today we're going to be making some spring decor. Uh, I made a trip to the Dollar Tree and found a few things this past weekend, as I said, and I'm going to see what I can make. Um, I also went foraging in my yard for some small branches, and I am going to insert that here. Okay, now, so what I am going to do is I am going to see if I can find me some sticks off of some uh, trees or some bushes that I can use in a... Um, a spring decor piece that I'm going to do. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get some sticks with some little branches coming off of them and I'm going to try to glue a few flowers and some leaves to them to see if I can come up with a floral arrangement. So let's see what we can find. Okay I think I found some. So I'm going to take my snippers. Now let's see what we can Here's one, let's cut this one. See, don't mind all of our cars. I'll show you what I get when I cut them off. So this is what I found. And as you can see, as you can see, things are budding out here in East Tennessee. You see? Things are budding out here. Let's hope we don't get a frost or a freeze and it kills it at. Looks like spring is coming. As you can see, the crab apple. So as you can see, I went foraging in my yard. Things are starting to bud out here in East Tennessee. And I found a few small branches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, they're all tangled up, some small branches and some flowers. These are called Blooming Branch. I came off of this, as you can see. And I'm going to hot glue them to this stick and I am going to place them into this vase that I need to clean. Let's go ahead and clean my vase. Just vinegar and water. I think I thrifted this big vase at Goodwill. And it wasn't very much. I can't remember how much I, it was, but it wasn't very much. Let's clean it somewhat. I have this clean. I have these little flowers and I have some white that I may use as well. I have my hot glue gun heating up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off any little buds that may be on it, because I don't want little buds. And I'll see if I need to trim any of the branch, any of the small branches. Let's see. Okay. I may have to get another vase. This may be too tall. So what I'm going to do, put a little bit of glue, just take my scissors, and you see the little yellow thing? I'm going to trim it back just a, t a tad, just so it'll lay flatter. Put a little bit of glue, and I'm going to place it onto the branch. Hold it for a few seconds and let it dry. Get the string off. 
See? Now, trim this one. A little bit of glue. Place it on the branch. Let's go ahead and get this one done. Press it into place. And if you need to, put a little bit more glue on the back. Get rid of any strings. You don't have to just put them on the edges of the branches. Like right here is a little nub. So let's go ahead and put one there. Here's another one. Hold it in place till it sticks, till it dries. Just keep adding them wherever you think they need to go. I think anywhere that I cut off a bud is where I'm going to place a bloom. And then we will check and see if this will fit into my... Uh, Face, or if I need to get another one. Now let's get a another one. Let's kind of trim this one back just a tad. Cut off any buds. Now I think I will do this one and the white. Little white bloom and attach that. Another one. This one has two layers, so. Oh, 
Hopefully you can see this. Let's go ahead and add some more. Like I said, this is two different layers, so I'm gonna have to layer these on. Don't you just love the little strings that you get from the glue stick? Like I said, make them as full as you want them to be. I'm just gonna to continue to glue some of these on. There's this one. Let's put one down here. This looks like it needs one here. Now, stick this into my base. I'll show you what they look like when I get them done. That is what it looks like. Now, I don't know if I like it in this vase or if I should put it in this picture right here. Let's look and see. Let me go ahead and put it in here and see which I like better. That's what it looks like in the picture. I think I like it better in the picture, so I think that'll go upstairs in the picture with just some small branch twigs from your yard, a few fake flowers from the Dollar Tree, and some hot glue. Now I'm going to show you how to make a bird's nest on a bed spring. This is a bed spring I've had for a couple of years that I spray painted. I also have this bird's nest, this wooden platform that I'm going to use. And I also found these eggs at the uh, Hobby Lobby. They were $4.49 and they were 40% off. So. I also have a couple of different different birds. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use, so we'll see. So, let's go ahead and put some hot glue. Let me grab another hot glue stick. I know I'm going to need one. OK, 
Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put a liberal amount of hot glue on the spring. Then we're going to take a piece of wood and press it down. This is going to give some stability to the uh, nest. This is going to be very easy to do. Extremely easy. Let's put some hot glue on the piece of wood. Because I'm going to need it to stay. Liberal amount of this as well. Okay. Let's stick our nest on it. Now, what I'm going to do, this is a, 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 a nest that I had used for something else, and it's got a few pieces of uh, wire in it. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my birds to see which goes best with the eggs. They kind of have creepy faces. But let's see. The blue. Let's check this blue one. Take her legs out. I don't think I'll need her legs. Now, I know that it may not be proportioned, but this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to add some eggs. Tan colored one. A yellow one. A green one. This one's sort of bluish gray. Now, how many eggs do we want to give her? This is the question. Let's give her a few more. This light green. This bluish gray. Darker green. And this lighter green. All right. Get rid of any strings. Now, let's go ahead and put a liberal amount of glue on her. and press her into the nest. I have this left over from my previous um, uh, project. So let's just stick some of these into the nest. Just give it a little bit of extra dimension, extra flare.
The thing here is to make it your own. I also have some florals that I am going to incorporate into my decor. Okay, let's see. Kind of disguise that piece of wood. Let's go ahead and cut off some of these and glue these in. Let's just place these strategically around the, circumf the circumference of this. I have that done. I have these little bitty pieces here. And I'm just gonna place these in as well. Just whatever you want to put in or nothing, just to fill in gaps and hide the wood. Take this. And I'm going to add it as well. Just try to get them in before your glue dries. And of course, you can manipulate them. And if you keep looking, you'll keep finding things to add. <laughs> or at least I am.
And this is what it looks like. A piece of spring home decor. Very easy. Well, that was my two spring decor crafts that I created for you all today. I hope you go out and scavenge your yards and see what you can find. Branches, twigs, uh, rocks, anything. And see what you can come up with for spring. Uh, these were both very, very affordable. Uh, I think I gave like maybe less than $4 for the florals on the, uh, the twigs that I put together. I spent uh, right around $3.00. For the eggs that I got at Hobby Lobby, I had everything else. I got, well, I thrifted the, a bag of little birds for like 99 cents. I already had the uh, the nest. I scavenged the bed spring outside, brought it to the house and spray painted it. Um, I had the florals for that as well. See what all you can find. See what you can come up with. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was different but i hope you enjoyed these little crafts that i put together and don't forget to like and to subscribe and to comment with things that you want me to to do in the future i love reading comments like i've said i've said numerous times i love reading your comments i love commenting back as well i try my best to comment back to everyone who comments on my videos uh sometimes it gets a little uh, uh quite a few comments and it takes me a while but i do try to get back to you guys and I really, really appreciate that. So don't forget, share this video. It really helps me reach more people. I love reaching more people, as I've said before. So until next time, my crafty crew, I hope you enjoyed this video. Come back and see me again. Love you guys. Bye.